What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Parrot Press. It's a big day. The Premier League is back tonight. Absolutely buzzing for it. Missed it. I know we had the Euros over the summer, but it has felt like a long summer. And tonight we get back the Premier League. But before all of that happens, I don't know if it's FOMO or not, but I've done something that I never thought that I would again. Before we get into that, let me take you through some more purchases in the gallery because in the last video I focused on, or the one before that actually, focused on the La Liga and that's where I'm going to be playing, especially from like a classic point of view in rare competition. And I went and picked up uh, Dimitrivsky, butchering these names, I know. But I picked him up because they're other goalkeeper and I'm not going to... I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, but well, let's have a go. Mamad Mamadashvili. Don't know. Apparently, he's going to Liverpool, and then he's going on loan somewhere else. Now, there is a clause in uh, this guy's contract that if Mama stays, then he's he can leave for uh, three million. 3 million euros and they've just signed him in so he wouldn't have put that in his contracts unless you obviously he wanted to be playing football so it's one to watch and I thought that I would I would make a uh, I'd have a little uh, have a little dabble with him you know so let's let's see what happens taking a bit of a risk with there but um Valencia number 1 if if Mama goes which it's looking likely so I picked him up from a goalkeeper point of view then I picked up Pablo Fornells as well. So in the last video, I said that I've got Fakir and I've got Isco. And I think Fornells comes into that spot for um, Real Betis. They played last night and he didn't actually do all that, to be honest with you. Um, so Red Data is running a little bit slow because we've got half hour until the deadline. But when I'm recording this, um, yeah, he didn't do too much. It, it weren't amazing. But AA point of view, he does take some of their free kicks every now and again, does take a corner here and there as well. And that, that attacking stack when they're playing in midweeks, I think it makes sense to bring Fornells in. I brought in Cardona as well. So he made the switch, I think, this year. Um, and this video is going to be really slow unless it loads from Las Palmas. And he's capable of these green scores from, from a defender and he's really cheap. So he's made the switch. He's playing for Villarreal now. Um, he should be playing left back week in and week out. And I think that he can replicate some of these scores. So he come in from a defensive standpoint. Then Sale, Sale or Sal, however you want to pronounce his name, he comes in as well because I think Sevilla will be Sevilla will be um, a different beast this year, actually. They've got a new manager, a different way of playing. And I think that he's a little bit underpriced, a little bit underrated, going under, under the, what's the word? Under the whatever, radar, that's the one. Um, and I think that he's going to do okay. So he come in as well. A couple of other players. So the right back at um, Athletic Club. Now the the main right back is actually DiMarco. So I picked him up. But I also picked up uh, Gorosabal as well. And he played last night and he got a 19 score and he played 90 minutes. So that was pretty shit. But um, I've got DiMarco in there as well. And they've got European football. So between them, if I can catch it and, you know, it's just extra utility. And they were both r relatively cheap. But the kind of, the one that I'm not necessarily excited for a lot, but excited for, sorry, the most, but um, Pereo comes in. And I've got this card in here as well. Now, let me show you this little collection that's going on, which is quite nice. Um, I bought him on eight and a half XP and I've already boosted him up to now 10%, uh, which is very nice. But this is a nice little stack coming along. We've got Jose Gaya, we've got um, Pereira in there, and we've got Solo, Solo, who is actually linked to be taking the place of Marino at um, Real Sociedad. But it looks like he might be going West Ham. So that'd be interesting. Um, as you know, I've got a Silicon, but I've not got this card. And I might try and make a little switch for that because it's not becoming a bad, you know, it's not a bad um, collection, sorry, when you've got people like... Um, who in here? Daniel Wassey is obviously a good score. I wouldn't pick him up though, but you've got Ferran Torres in there as well. You know, just a couple of players in there that, that I quite enjoy. But that brings you up to date with the rares and, and where I, what I've done since the last video. But the main thing is that I never thought, I never thought that I would go back into the market and buy limited cards. And to be honest, if you would have said to me six months ago, would I be playing in the league where I've picked these limited cards up? I'd probably say no as well. But I've always kind of deep down wanted to. And as you can see there, I have picked up some Premier League limited cards. 
And I'm, I didn't think the limited cards would actually go for that price ever again as well, considering what limited cards has kind of predominantly been. But obviously, there's um, I think that so rare have got the the reward spot on in terms of limited because there's enough in there in that division one in the, what is it fifteen hundred quid or whatever to just tempt you in in season, and it has tempted me. And I've always wanted to do it in terms of picking up um, some Spurs players. Like if we look at this collection, I've picked them up on the market. Oh, it's not going to work, is it? Because it wasn't loading for me before, which is really annoying. But I've picked up, um, we'll, we'll go through them. Well, let's start from the first one that I picked up. Now I said in my video around uh, Premier League, if I was to play Premier League, Dean Henderson would probably be the goalkeeper that I pick up. So I have picked him up, but this is at a limited level. Um, and I think that he's going to have a good season. As I said the other day, I think Crystal Palace are going to have a good season. And this is really frustrating that, um, so red data is lagging a little bit, but obviously they've got the, the new button to, ex to export their lineups that you do in the builder. It's straight into so rare. So I think it's taken up some of their, uh, some of their, or an increase of traffic, should I say, but. Yeah, Dean Henderson come in, and I'm not going to go through what price I paid for people and things like that, but if I was going to bring Dean Henderson in, then I was definitely going to bring Munoz in as well, because I think Munoz is going to have a fantastic season, as I said in my other video, and if you haven't watched that, go and check that one out, but Munoz I think is going to be is going to be fantastic in that right wing back position um, for the new manager or the fairly new manager at Crystal Palace, but then I picked up Eze as well, and I think that Eze... Again, he showed towards the end of last year, and which made him get in the England squad, basically, how capable he is. And from a so rare standpoint, you look at all of those greens, uh, he takes all of their set pieces. Um, I think he's going to be so... Well, again, he's going to be key, um, key for Crystal Palace. So I started off a little collection there with Henderson, Munoz and Eze. Um, but I've always wanted to, as I said, I've always wanted to have a Tottenham collection um, and I don't know if I'm going to go all out and buy every single card there. I just want the players that I want to play and get that collection bonus at the players that I think um, are going to start most weeks, etc. And I went and picked up, oh, just before I go on to that, actually, when I bought that Eze card, by the way, that happened. Um, you know, obviously this is ending now, but this happened. I, I won another one straight away, which is a free card. You know, I managed to sell it for about 40 quid, something like that. Um, so that was, that's probably the only bit of luck I've had in terms of actually getting another card. I've got some essence and I'll come onto that in a little while as well. Cause I actually opened up my tier five essence card. Um, so stick around for that. But yeah, as a, as a come in, but I've always wanted that Tottenham stack. So I thought to myself, well, if I've got a defender already in Munoz, I've got as I've got, um, Henderson in there with that defensive stack, what would the attacking stack look like? And I just thought, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just go balls deep in and, and and just go for it and just have Spurs um, <clears throat> Spurs uh, players. So I picked up a Madison and paired him with a Son. Just went for it. So a Crystal Palace stack um, uh, defensively who, who are capable of really good peak scores along with Eze who takes all their set pieces. Madison takes all their set pieces. I think Son stick, uh, will keep the penalties as well, so he takes some set pieces. We know what they all can do. I think that that would be a great five-man stack, but I didn't really want to stop there because then I was thinking, should I really actually go out and, and start stacking this this collection up and I had a little bit of um excess changeover from that as a sell sell and I sold Di Maria as well because I'm I'm not planning on kind of using him. Um <clears throat> and I just went and picked up Basuma and Richarlison for literally the collection stuff. Now <clears throat> they are also players that can play. And that's why I didn't go out there and pick up like the four pound buy it now, Fraser Foster, that type of player. I wanted a player that will actually play and has got some career left. And Basuma, he, he does all right when he starts. Now, I know he's in a little bit of trouble with Ange at the moment and um, he's not going to be playing on Monday night. But um, with the with the amount of Europa or European games that Spurs have got coming up, I think there's going to be some rotation. Basuma will definitely play some of those, but Richarlison will play them as well. And obviously, we've signed Solanke now. So with Richarlison coming, um, Richarlison playing second fiddle to him, but he can also play off of the left um, and potentially 
the right. I think that he's going to be playing um, more games in, in Europe as well. So two players that, you know, I didn't just want to get in for the sake of getting in, but actually usable players given the, the, the right matchup. And then Poro. Um, Poro for me and Munoz are, the, are the, going to be the best kind of fullbacks uh, this season from a so rare standpoint. Again, in my opinion, yes, Trent, obviously, but he might play somewhere else or whatever. But these are the two that are, that I find affordable and that I think that are going to have amazing seasons. And um, I really like him. He can take some set, set pieces if certain people are not playing. Um, and I wanted him. So I went out there and got him. Now, it probably would have made more sense that if I wanted the collection stuff is to buy that Fraser Forster and, and for four pound and then pay a lot less for Poro maybe. But I can't be bothered with all that. I just went out there and picked him up, just instant bought him uh, and he's welcomes into the gallery. And then with all of that, I mean, you can see it there that I've got it on sale. I um, obviously collected some essence. So I revealed, done it. I, I kind of uh, done the swipe across and where it powers up your essence, etc. And I ended up pulling um, Savita, which I think is a tier two card. So I'm pleased about that, but I am selling him because I'm not ple I'm not playing uh, the Bundesliga. Um, but he's capable. He plays for one of the best teams in Germany. And if I was to kind of create a stack, maybe Dortmund would be the way that I go. But um, I can use that twenty quid and then maybe boost up some of that collection bonus for for Tottenham um, <clears throat> and go from there. But yeah, it's something that I never thought that I would do. I never thought that I would go back into limited, and I never thought that I'd actually start a, a collection. Um, yeah, I just, I just didn't. It just wasn't, in, wasn't in my, in my thought process. And then, um, so bringing on to this game week, right? What does that actually look like? Now, what's pissed me off a little bit is that I've got all of these cards um, for uh, that I could, that I could be playing. Uh, that's my current game week, by the way. Not, not great. No rewards, nothing like that. But I've got. Kai Wagner, Blake, Rossi. I've got all of these players playing again. And because there's no competitions to really play them in, apart from Cap 250, but these are players that are like, uh, their all 15s are like 68s and 72s and stuff. I can't really play them. So it did annoy me a little bit. But with the excitement now with the Premier League being back um, and with these new limited cards, I'm quite quite excited uh, is a bit of an understatement but I managed to piece together some 250 lineups now everyone in this lineup should actually play um, I don't know if, if the goalkeeper is going to be playing here or whether the deal for the other goalkeeper is going to be done in time or whether he's just going to have like a last send off game no idea but I thought I'd throw it out there and then this one my two forwards are not going to play but they might come off the bench and then I'll just see what happens there but I'm not expecting anything, which is really annoying because I've got people like Stefan Fry, I've got um, Blake, as I've already said, I've got Rusnak, I've got Yamar, I've got all these other players that that are really good, so rare, or SO5 scorers, and I can't use them, so they'll just be sitting in training, which is really frustrating. But this is what that in-season um, Premier League team looks like, and... I was up in an RM ever to play Munoz or Poro and and I did put out a, a poll and and 85% said on Twitter, by the way, if you don't follow me on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it these days, uh, at the Parrot Press, so rare, um, and feel free to to give me a follow and stuff. Um, but I was up in an RM ever to play Poro or whether to play Munoz, Munoz on that spot. But I think that, um, I mean, I'm going to watch him on Monday night. I'm a Spurs fan. Let's just go with the predominant Spurs stack. And eventually I'll probably end up picking up a Vicario um, and go from there. But one thing that I'm probably not going to do, unless it is a midweek game, um, is do a full five-man stack of Tottenham. Because, all right, I might get to the 5% collection bonus eventually, but I know some people are already there. And I'd like to have that differential. And I think that as a and perhaps Munoz um, fit the bill there, now, if I had Vicario in here, it would probably be Eze that I play because I want that defensive stack. But maybe I need to pick up another couple of like Eze type people to plug into this lineup. Um, we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Um, but I'm in Division 5, so 
I'm hoping to finish in the top 25% of, you know, just over a thousand people and see whether I can uh, get up the leaderboard or get up the division, should I say, very, very quickly. Um, and then I've got my classic division two uh, La Liga team in here as well with Silicon who should be playing. They play tonight along with Celta Vigo as well. And I've put the armband on Aspas rather than Griezmann, which is um, a call that I'm still unsure on, um, especially with, with Mendes playing at home as well. But I think the Aspas at home um, taking all of their sets and with his scoring record that he's got, I've, I've gone with it. So that's pretty much all the lineups that I can get. But the, the real story with all of this is... I've gone for, I've gone into limited. Um, I've gone into Premier League. I've gone into in season, and let's see what happens. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see some more, hit the subscribe button. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the future.